Wait for it. Wait for it. Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here, and today, man, as you can tell, I've got a fun video. How do you build ramps in FS19? Now, I'm going to show you the way that I like to do it. There's a couple different ways that you can do it, but I'm going to show you a couple tricks and techniques that I use to be able to help me get a pretty good ramp. Um, I know there's definitely, definitely other uh, ramp makers out there that may do a lot better job than I do, but I just wanted to put this together to show you how you do it on console. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you need to own the land, all right? So let's go ahead and jump over here and do this really, really quick. So I found a couple pieces that I want. So we're going to go ahead and buy this. There we go. And we're going to buy this. Now, that's going to give me this whole area right here. Now, it's not going to be a super big lead up to the ramp, but I think it's going to work okay. So the next thing is find an area that you want to use. Now, it's going to work best if you have a mostly level area, all right? Because... You're going to need a lot of money if it's not, because the landscaping feature here costs a ton of money if you start moving a lot of um, dirt around. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out of my out of the way over here, because if you're in the way, sometimes it recognizes that there's a character there and it won't let you do anything. So I'm going to be right here, and I want to jump over these buildings. Yeah, we're going to jump the buildings. So what do I do? I'm going to hit the big uh, button here in the middle. This is going to bring up your like options menu, everything like that. And we're going to go over to landscaping. So when I hit landscaping, here we are. Now, I'm going to zoom in here. And what you can see is I've got one square right here. Well, you can't see it very well. Let me come down over here so you can see what it looks like. So the one square, you can see it right there in the middle. It's red, right? It's not very big. Well, if I hit down on my R3 uh, button, right, my analog stick, if I start hitting down, it starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And you can see down at the bottom, it says that the brush size is 2 and then 4 and then 6 eight and if i zoom out you can see this thing is going to get really really big all the way to 20 and that's what i start with okay i'm going to come in right here and i want to make sure that i level this ground out because you want a really really nice flat area to be able to build your ramp on well how do i know what to do so i'm going to pull up in my help menu right here i'm going to go ahead and pull it up i've got a side panel so i can do it a lot quicker and easier but this is what you're going to want to see and what you can see is R1 is flattened, okay? So this is what I'm going to want to use. So if I hit it, R1, you can see that now everything is perfectly level. And if I stay right here and I keep holding R1 and I start bringing my left analog stick down, see how it's bringing all that land up exactly the same, all right? So boom, there we go. We got a nice level area. Some parts it's taken down, some parts it's taken up. And I'm going to go ahead and give myself quite a bit of room here. Now, as you start to build more of these, you're going to start to realize, hey, I may not need as much room to be able to do this, but we want a pretty good ramp here, so I'm going to give myself enough room. Now, you may also run into uh, situations or uh, locations that aren't going to allow you to be able to move your uh, dirt around like this as well. So what I'm going to do next is I want this to be kind of big. Okay, so I'm going to leave it right here, and you can go to raise, which is going to be X. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here to this side, and I'm going to raise it up. Oh, I don't know. That's one click, two clicks, three clicks, four, five, six, seven. The longer you hold it, I'll show you what that does right here. And you can see it's just going to slowly raise up. All right, now let me show you something else. I'm going to flatten this back out really, really quick, and I'm going to show you a bit easier way to do it quickly. So if you hold your L1, okay, and your right analog stick, start taking it up. In the bottom right-hand corner, you can see brush strength. It's at 0.1 right now. If you start clicking it up, it can go all the way to 3. All right, so now you see how your green square or, um, indicator here has gotten taller? So watch what happens now when I hit X. Boom. It does it really, really quickly, right? So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do two of these right here. Okay, now I'm going to do the same technique where I'm on top of it. I'm going to hold R1, and I'm just going to come across. So this is going to be my base for my ramp. Now, you don't have to worry about anything happening on the backside. It's all good. All right? Now, what I want to do is I want to shrink this thing back down. All right? I'm going to go to about half size right here. And I want to do this again, but this time I'm going to take it up a couple times. One two, three. Let's do three. That's going to be a pretty good lead in to this ramp right here. So I'm going to hold R1 and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull it across all the way. Now, another 
trick that you can do to make sure that you go straight, okay, is if you bring up your map down at the bottom, you can see in the bottom left-hand corner how it says 178 degrees and then 842, 1895. Well, that 178 is going to tell you exactly where you're looking at. And if you get this directly on 180, okay, and I'm going to hold R1 again to flatten this thing out. And if I start coming backwards, if I'm on that 180 and I pull straight back, it's going to take it in a perfectly straight line, okay? So there we go. So now we have two steps, all right? And the first one, it's really, really nice. I really, really like this. Um, and you can kind of play around with this a little bit, figure out how steep you want it, if you want it more of a gradual incline. Um, and I'm going to show you how that works here in just a second. But next thing I'm going to do is come back, and I'm going to get rid of this little lip that's right here. Okay, so we're going to hit R1. We're going to come across, and same thing. I'm just going to flatten this out. So there we go. Now we have two really, really nice steps. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make this as big as I can, okay? And smooth is going to be triangle, okay? So whenever I hit this, I'm going to be about right here in the middle, okay? And I want to be down here. So when I hit smooth, watch what's going to start happening. It's going to start combining everything together, right? And the faster you go, the less it's going to bring everything together. So the slower you go, it really, really tries to blend everything in really, really well. So we've blended these in together pretty good. Okay. We've got, if I come out here, you can see over here on the side, you can see that we've got a pretty decent little ramp. But if you try and hit this with the vehicle right here, it's not going to end very, very well. So we're going to go back into landscaping, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to come down here at this blend area now. We'll start down here on this end. We're going to hit triangle, and now we're going to smooth this together. All right. So the longer I stay on it, the more it's going to blend it together really, really nice and easy. All right. So there's that. Now what I'm going to do is just start going back and forth. All right. Get this whole thing. And if you go over the back, it's all right. All it's going to do is just get rid of a little bit up there for you. Now, if you want to keep that, be careful next to the edge. Right, but what I'm doing is I'm just trying to smooth this thing out so that we can get a really, really nice lead in. All right, so we're actually going to get all of this taken care of. There we go. Now, if I was looking for something that had like a really nice kick at the top to help give me a whole lot of elevation, I definitely wouldn't be smoothing out this top as much. But I think right here we're going to be okay. So now that's your ramp, really, really nice and smooth. But now I need to make sure the rest of this lead up to it is really, really nice and flat too. All right, so I'm going to shrink this back down really quick so I know that I'm on a really nice, good flat spot. And we're going to go back out to flatten R1, all right? So here we go. We're going to flatten all this back out. And as I get more area cleared away, I can start increasing the size of this again to make it easier. So R1, here we go. We're going to flatten all this out, okay? Now, if you don't have a whole lot of room to be able to work here and you want to go this way because you want to hit the middle of your ramp, right, then you just go like this. And here we go. So we're going to go all the way over to the edge. And it's going to tell me, yep, I'm out of room now, right? So I've got a nice entryway. Boom, we're going to hit our ramp. And there we go. Now, the next thing you want to do is grass isn't the smoothest thing that you want to use. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to hit L three again and that's going to change us over to painting okay and what we want to do is we want to find the one that is um, either asphalt or pavement something like that okay so you're going to hit left or right on your d-pad now mine in the bottom is not showing up properly but what you want to look for is one that looks like this right here all right it's a really really nice smooth surface all right um, and then you uh, hit x it's going to place it down and then you just make your whole lead in that all the way up your ramp and there you go so now you've got a really really nice smooth surface that you're going to be able to use now the other ones that you could use let's go ahead and come out here and i'll show you those here really quickly so this one here is gravel i mean it's okay but it's not the best because you still get a little bit of dust kicked up all right and then that one's definitely not good those rocks aren't good that's sand nope that's mud that's really good dirt so right here this is the one so the gravel or this darker pavement right here you can use or the lighter covered pavement 
Um, and actually, let's go ahead and make this whole thing the darker colored pavement. I really like this look. So we'll take this all the way. All right, well, now we've got that made. We need to go get our vehicle. So let me go grab the vehicle really, really quick, and I'll see you guys down there at the end um, where we've got the, uh, the start of the ramp at. All right, so I've got a couple cars here. One of them is going to do really, really well, I think. But let's look at a normal car, all right? So we're going to hop in this, uh, the Beetle here. And all you're going to do is just go straight, right? Now, this one doesn't take off super fast, but hopefully it's going to fly really, really well. Um, and what we're looking for is just to make sure that nothing on this ramp is going to cause the vehicle to, like, slow down. So we're going about 50 miles an hour here. Goes up. There we go. So it wasn't super good. But I think if you had more time to be able to get it up to speed, it would be all right. So now we're going to come over here to this boy. All right. So this one is going to be a lot of fun. You guys ready for it? Here we go. So we're taking off. We're already almost to 50 miles an hour. Oh, wow. Here we go. Am I going to clear it? Oh, yeah. And then into a tree. So that looked really really nice the vehicle didn't slow down sometimes if you have a transition that's really really sharp the vehicle will not like do well so like if i was trying to do it like right in here right you can see that this transition it really makes the vehicle like slow down a lot right um so pay attention to that if it is kind of sharp and your vehicle really slows down or kind of jumps a little bit whenever it hits the ramp just smooth it out a little bit more, right? Grab your uh, your landscape tool and smooth it out. As you can see here, this is a really, really nice, smooth, smooth transition. Now, could I have uh, had a little bit better time and a little bit more pop at the end of it to keep it elevated if I wouldn't have smoothed the top down? Absolutely, right? So if I was like more over here on this edge where I didn't really do anything like that, then yeah, but I felt it was confident and we, we did pretty good. I mean, we got it to do exactly what we wanted it to do. So. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something today, definitely, definitely hit that like button if you would. It really, really helps the channel out quite a bit. And um, if you want to stay up to date on any of my tips and tricks videos, or you want to see some of this stuff like this in my uh, videos, definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.